Hey guys, good morning. We are just getting going around here. I'm not ready for the day yet, but I wanted to meal prep today. And before we get into some of the food I meal prepped the last couple days, I wanted to show you, because we're about to bust into it for breakfast. And the last couple days, I've just been slowly prepping some things. And let me tell you, it's made me feel so good to have this stuff done. I'm so glad I took the time to do it. I just kind of did it throughout my day, you know? Okay, so this looks like a ton of bread, but it's actually just two batches. I have two machines. Each machine makes two loaves of bread. So this was two batches and it's eight loaves. Is that right? Oh, we must have eaten one. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, there's eight there. Then I made a bunch of granola. This is actually just my overflow granola. I have some stored up there, three of those things. And then I made a big bag of hard boiled eggs. We've eaten some of them already. I made a big bag of brown rice. Hold on just a second, I'm almost done. Yes, do you have something to say? Mom. <laughs> and then I made a lot of yogurt. This is already sweetened with maple syrup and has blueberries in it. Mom, so this is the overflow. Mom, you want an egg? Okay, I'll get you an egg. That I write on here just so that the boys, they love. My older boys love having a bowl of yogurt with some granola for a snack. I just wanted them to see that these are our yogurt and they're available. <laughs> Eat me. <laughs> I'll be back to this video after I get myself together and get the plant, kids settled and I'm going to cook some meals today, and I have a helper today. Papa and Nana are here. It was Eli's birthday yesterday, he turned 10. Papa brought him, and Nana brought him a present, and he just opened it, very excited. I feel like every time I'm filming, Belle's working, but we do work at the same time sometimes. <laughs> She's not always on the computer, just when I'm filming, basically. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> My dad and I just got back from Sam's Club because we are brave people. We went on a Saturday. It wasn't terrible. Had to pick up a few things. He's filming a video. He has a channel. He cooks food. He's filming a video here uh, for a meal he's making for us. So he had to get a few things for that. I think two different meals actually. And I, he's going to help me meal prep too a little bit. But I'll show you what we got quick. I needed garlic, so I'm, I process this stuff all at once and then freeze it in little cubes. It is so convenient and then really good. I, I freeze it in olive oil. You guys taught me that, so I needed more. I got this for lunch just since so I was walking through the store. The kids love it. He's making something with beef meatballs, and he also got all these chicken thighs. I don't think we'll run out. Oh, chicken breasts. Do you know one of them were chicken breasts, Dad? I did, yeah. I'm doing both white and dark. Oh, nice. He is making something really good for his channel. I think an African curry and a curry meatball, something like that. Anyway, it's going to be amazing. What I'm doing is I'm going to be making our family traditional yes. Afri eat West African curry dish. Yes. And we will be probably working with Micah on that to okay. bring him into manhood, African manhood, as he learns. <laughs> oh, you're going to give him his African manhood. Yes, I'm going to give to him his African heritage. <laughs> yes. And, yes and he, Makes total sense. Yes, and he will be, it's sort of like, well, it's sort of like the circle of life. Yeah. Oh, boy. The dish he's making, I think my mom may clarify, but she grew up in Nigeria, which is West Africa. Solo's from... Kenya, East Africa. My mom was born in Kenya, but she grew up in Nigeria for like 10 years of her life. Her family learned the recipe he's gonna make when they were in West Africa, but I think they learned it from Middle Easterners. They didn't even learn it from- Actually, it's India. It's got oh. an Indian uh, uh, origin, to, if you can believe it. So, Which in Africa, a lot of the merchants uh -huh. are Indian. And in yes. this case, where, my, where Nana learned yes. it, it was at a club that they would, her family would oh, eat at on Sunday afternoons. Like it was yes. like a club restaurant, and it was was handled by uh, Indians. Oh, okay. It was under It's actually property. really good. Solo and I used it for our re wedding reception. Wedding. We made tons of it for the wedding, and we had it in the, my parents' backyard. Yeah. The wedding, it was just like um, everybody loved it. Out of town guests and family yes. and wedding party yes. kind of thing, and we just did a backyard tents, and we had all this curry. We taught some of the ladies at our church how to make it. Too, and so we all it is so, so good and we're going to pass that on to my viewers for a small fee yeah. <laughs> you got to buy tradition <laughs> okay he's cracking himself up over here let me finish this little grocery off 
I bought this. Oh yeah, he bought that too, but <laughs> Light, light blue one at seven bucks. And what size? Extra large. Oh. Spinach for something I'm making today. A couple things. I got plums because our kids literally will eat oh. these two bags in two days. It's so good. Yeah, we got two bags a couple days ago and they're gone. And then we needed yellow onions. Did I say red onions? Uh oh, where are the red onions? Oh, <laughs> right in front of me. The camera was blocking my view, guys. <laughs> Parmesan cheese for a meal I'm making. Uh, Belle's wanting to make some cheesecake, so that's for her. Butter, just because I didn't do a regular grocery haul, and I know we've eaten a lot. And then my dad and I needed heavy whipping cream, so let's see what we create with all this. Those guys are working. He's talking on the phone in Swahili mostly. <laughs> and the baby's sleeping. Watch All right, it's loud in here, but I'm talking anyway. I'm just putting some bacon in the oven at 500 because one of the meals I need needs bacon. Actually, I haven't started the oven yet. I like to start it after I get the bacon in there. We've been cooking bacon on our grill lately and our Traeger smoker, whatever. This is not enough bacon to do that way. Okay, so listen, he got skin on, bone in yes. chicken, Hallelujah. and the total is five. Yeah, 98 cents a pound. And I've been paying. Okay. But you've been paying probably 14, 15. But look at I went. This was at Sam's. Mm -hmm. I went to the same around the round from here. Yeah, I know where side, they are. Mm -hmm. They have these skinless, boneless. Don't use that finger to point. You're oh, terrible. <laughs> We've been telling them this for 40 years. <laughs> I use skinless, boneless for, um, and I get the same amount, uh -huh. same size, fifteen dollars a pack. Yep, that's what I've been doing. No, and I haven't even been looking don't at the it. skin in, no, bone on. And let me tell you what else you do. Skin on, bone skin in. Skin <laughs> on, bone in. Okay, but listen, if I want to cook these on the grill or something, yeah. I found a trick. I saw a hack, and it's wonderful. And I didn't do it the other day. I'm, something I, I'm coming up in a Wednesday. Take these things on the back side uh -huh. and take your knife and slit on each side of the uh, bone. Okay. Leave the bone in but just make a slit with a sharp knife down each side. Uh -huh. And what that does, it separates it from the bone a little bit and cooks more evenly and cooks all the way through. You know how sometimes you'll cook yeah. and then all of a sudden you bite in and it's still raw near the bone or yeah. it's still a bloody a little bit or whatever? Yes. You don't do that when, when you okay. don't have that happen. But I am paying for skin and bones. Yeah, but so what? You can pull the skin so off. So a lot easily. of times we don't we don't eat meat most of the time where it's no. just grilled. No, we chop at, it up. So at, I'm gonna have to debone and de-skin yeah, it. This is so easy. Look at you take these out and you can easily take the skin off. That's true. And you know just. Yep, I need to change my ways because I, that that is an yeah. insane difference. And that's what I do with these things. I'll cut that piece of fat off. Yeah, that was so easy. Yeah. See? I actually have food scissors you can yeah. use. Oh, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> that skin just comes off. Perfect. Fantastic. Yep. Okay. And then, but on this, I'm actually going to cook these skin. with the skin on because it's going to make its own broth and they're really good oh, with the yeah, curry yeah. That I'm oh yeah something but skin on is so good i'll pull the skin off before we okay go. gotcha the last uh, food video i edited i was so annoyed with myself because i would talk for a long time before i got to cooking the food so i'm trying i'm gonna try to be better now <laughs> but i do have to tell you this we had gone to a salvage warehouse for some furniture for our farmhouse and uh, I found this in an antique section. It's a bread slicing guide from the 90s. It needs to be cleaned up, but isn't that cool? That's cool, I bought myself one the other day. You did? But not quite as big, it's a sort of a fold down one. Oh, I wish this folded down, maybe it does, who knows. Well, it's kind of funky, but the, the guy threw it in when we bought the furniture, I need nice. to clean it up, but that's fun. <laughs> now we can all slice bread evenly. Channels. I do and love that. That's where he found this. That's a hundred percent. Has to be. Yeah, it does look like an infomercial, and it says a must with bread machines. <laughs> As seen on TV. Okay. Our bread slicing guide. <laughs> so you can slice your bread like you've never sliced it before. That's right. <laughs> she, man, she needs to get a job with um, QVC. Um, okay, I'm using some ground beef here. I got three pounds thawed. And this meal is inspired by some cauliflower rice we haven't used for a while that I found in my freezer. And we're just gonna cook up the beef and the cauliflower rice and add some Asian seasonings. And it's gonna be good. Ooh, I better get my garlic going though. Papa's having a ham snack <laughs> with some mustard. <laughs> okay, he's browning that now. Bell took out the trash, everybody's helping. 
Uh, my meals are so simple today, but uh, yeah. But I, I, my job today is to process all this. It's gonna take a while. We'll turn this into something amazing. <laughs> All right, I got him helping me, but he told me <laughs> next time I need to buy him already peeled. If you're peeled. <laughs> using this much, you get the big bags of peel uh, and yep, and, uh, and then process car. them. Yeah, people do that all the time. It's still fresh, huh? Oh yeah. I use this little thing. A viewer sent me this tiny little. I got one. You got one too. I have one. I love it. I use it all the time. It's really amazing for doing this with garlic. Anyway, I'm gonna throw some in my beef that's done. Burn the bacon a little bit, but <laughs> it's okay. We'll still make it work. I'm going to throw in this rice cauliflower. Hi, Seth. You want those shoes? <laughs> they don't match. Can you find matching shoes, Seth? All right, we got all that cauliflower rice in there. Dad's okay. gonna pour some soy sauce and sesame oil. How sesame. much do you do? I just, I'm just generous with it. Are it you? makes it taste really good. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you do it at the end because you don't really want it heated up a ton. Yeah. And then we can just do. Yeah, one? that's good. And then, and then soy. soy. I love this. And then we'll, when we eat it, we'll probably eat it on a little brown rice with green onions from our garden on top. And that's it. It's very easy. Judah does not like cauliflower rice at all. At all. At I'm not all. the biggest one, but it's got to be flavored for me to be able to choke it down. Yeah. Well, this one tastes really good, but we'll have it on a night he's not home. Do you do any kind of other powdered seasoning? You don't do... Uh, Garlic or? I threw a bunch of garlic in there. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you... Oh, sometimes they do ginger. We could add that, actually. Mm, that'd be good. Okay, we found some ginger paste to add. I'm not sure. I always wonder about ginger. I'm just not, I like it, but in so, cooking. Oh, so does it a lot. He does it till it's spicy, usually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes too spicy. So you think I need more? No, well, I don't know. We can just try it. Okay. You're just looking for it to taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was actually very good. The um, yeah, in the door there, the green onions make it at the end. But that's a very easy meal, and it's even easier because it'll be all made. So we just warm it up and put it on brown that's rice that's made. already made too. <laughs> the next one I'm having my dad do. I thawed these chicken tenders last that night. Thing. Look at that price. Look at that price. Isn't that awful? <laughs> Two ninety-eight a pound. So he's going to make a marinade for these and we'll grill them. We have some potatoes in the pantry that I need to use. So we'll make mashed potatoes and then other veggies on the side. Like zucchini from the garden or something. Or a salad. How are you? How are you today? Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Don't kiss her. She's sick. Oh my God. <laughs> Now they tell me after I kiss her, I'm probably gonna have pink eye and green eye and oh god, why am I holding you? You know I always come up here and get sick from somebody. One really? of these days, I'm, yeah, one of these days I'm gonna come up here, get sick, and go home and die. I know I am. Kids are gonna. Tell we'll you. all feel guilty for the rest of our lives. And life. you'll all feel guilty. You really will, and I want you to feel guilty. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look at her. She's just confused why you got all mad at her. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at her for you making me kiss you. Hey, make you kiss her. Do you want me to take her back? No, she doesn't <laughs> want to go back to you. I am going to be peeling garlic for the rest of my life. Oh, that's all I got so far. Um, this did make such easy work of mincing it. And it takes seconds. It's nothing. So I need to start buying the peeled garlic. <laughs> that would help a lot. My dad and I were just laughing about how we both tried all the tricks, like putting it in a jar and shaking it and all the things that's supposed to take the peel off. None of them really work. <laughs> it's really quiet in here because Solo took uh, Hope, Destiny, and Seth out to our new property. If you missed our last video, we have big, exciting news. So he took them out to Shags, we call it, the farm, for a little while. And the volume, the decibel level just plummeted. <laughs> okay, got some olive oil. You can do it more or less, depending on how you like your garlic. 
sometimes I do some of it into a paste and some more minced. Then I will put them into this tray that has silicone on the bottom, makes it easy to pop them out. It also has a lid. I froze the lime juice in here last, obviously. I think I have two trays, so I'm gonna try to fill up two trays and I'll save the rest for another day. So my mom said that the whole garlics are cheaper than the peeled. So that yes, was one redeeming. So. That's one redeeming factor for all this work. <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything that they do for you, they usually charge you more. That's true. Oh, Belle's using the end of a knife. She's got it. Smash it. What? Is that not how you're supposed to? Do yeah, it? that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> you smash it. I have no clue what I'm doing. You're right, and then it pulls right out. I don't want my hands to smash. Well, we have that bar. The silver bar to wash them on. All right, I've got some lime juice squares and lemon juice squares. I'm gonna pop these out so I can use them for garlic. That's basically the only thing I freeze in squares. But I need to start freezing basil <laughs> and pesto. Oh, I you guys have done it fast. Of... <laughs> so I was thinking that lime juice would be good with the um, that meal I made over there. <laughs> the beef and cauliflower rice. I'm the smasher, she's the pork peeler. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Are you good? Lighting? Lighting looks good, actually. Light, camera. Yeah, it actually looks really good. Action. Hi, everybody. I'm doing this for Sarah's channel, Our Tribe of Mini. <laughs> this is the Papa from the Papa's channel, the Papa's Kitchen. <laughs> I'm still doing garlic. Hey, by the way, have you told your folks about our book cover and all that that's coming up? Our book cover? It's I told done. them our book is coming. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what, if we can do it right here in this little brief segue, <laughs> we're going to put this, up... This video is sponsored by no. our parenting book. Yes, our parenting book called the Com uh, Common Sense Parenting, mm -hmm. coming out February 23rd. Here's a picture of the front cover. We are so excited we about it. You can share that? Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Okay, now Sarah asked me to take, she's going to do some chicken tenderloins. <laughs> And boy, it's a big bunch of them, so I'm going to make a double batch of marinade. But here's the easy marinade. It's just a very, very easy. Always take half a cup of lemon juice. Now, if you were really on my channel, you're going to use fresh squeezed lemon, but... Hey, I have fresh squeezed lemon. You didn't no, ask. This is okay. Half a cup fresh squeezed lemon juice. Two tablespoons, or thereabouts, of... Dijon mustard. <laughs> like that. Some salt and pepper to taste. I don't know about this salt. Is it real salty? Yeah. And then, as you have that, mix it up. And while you're mixing, pour in about one cup. In fact, let me do this. I'll measure it. Half a cup of lemon juice to one cup of good uh, olive oil. So as that's mixing, pour in and emulsify it all up. Sorry for the noise, but you get the idea. And that, folks, is your marinade for the chicken. And what we're going to do is put this over the chicken. Here, you can put the chicken in here. Needs a little bit more I mustard. I can do two of these if you want. I like a lot of this on in this thing. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And really what you should do, but is make for her, because she's got a lot of these things, is you make a double batch, you do half of the batch onto the chicken, marinate for two hours, and then reserve the other half, Sarah, and use it to cover the over when you, after you cook them on the grill. Pour oh, it on. after? Yeah, after, or, or while you're doing it, while you're. Oh, while cooking. you're grilling. Yeah. Oh, nice. Is that neat? Well, we'll prep that too because yeah. then we're yeah. ready to go, which is how I like it. So let me just see how we're doing here. Looks good. So we're going to take your chicken breast or chicken filet. Tender. tender. Tenderloins. Do you pull that little thing off the end of them? Do you? Do you... Uh, sometimes. I don't use chicken tenders much. I haven't used them much. Check it out. Three trays full of minced garlic that I'll put in Ziploc bags after they freeze. Look at that, Dad. Isn't that oh, cool? that's gorgeous. Wow. Mm -hmm. Where did you get those little trays from? Amazon. 
Wow. Amazon. I won't relabel them because I know obviously it's not lemon. I got it down to just this little pile left. I'll save this for another day when my trays are empty or we can use it fresh. I, I don't know. Do one day. Oh, isn't it nice? I love that vacuum. Mm. And let those wrap them, put some saran wrap over it. I have a cover for that dish. Couple hours. Or a couple days. A couple days if you want, <laughs> sure. These all just look great. And that's what we're doing, a couple days. Mm, mm, mm. He does that every time he cooks. I figured that out. Or the, mm, mm, mm. He has a couple different melodies, but it's <laughs> <laughs> My editor, ladies and gentlemen, my editor. <laughs> we are all week, probably. <laughs> They're right there. That's my future editor, yeah. When the others get married and go off and have their own children, here she is going <laughs> to take care of me. All right, we're taking a break. Papa's going to film his video with Micah for his channel, so you'll have to go there to see that one. Yeah. West African curry. West African curry. That we're going to eat tomorrow. Ooh, Around yeah. Here. Ooh, that's going to be good. I'm saving my bacon here that I cooked and my garlic, some extra I set aside for a meal I'm going to make after they're done. So I'll show you that next. Okay, I'm back. Dad made his meal. It smells like my childhood in here. I keep telling him. That is the big pot. If you want to know how to make it, it's incredible. Check out his channel. I'm going to link it down below the meal. I am going to make like a spinach carbonara thing. I think it's a spinach bacon pasta. It's gonna be good. So I cooked the bacon earlier, but I wanna do it again in the pot because we burned most of it. We ate a little bit of it, and it's but just, it's, the, here, let me it's thin show. bacon. Well, I got more thin bacon, There's but I just want black. more. Everybody's been eating it. Yes, that's Burnt the Burnt offering. <laughs> It's we made favorite. sacrifice and worship this afternoon. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, he's gonna get in trouble now. People are gonna yell at you. We're used to that. We're YouTubers. <laughs> We're used to it. Okay, I'm gonna chop half an onion up here. Dad had leftover onions, so that worked out you know, good. My hair's getting worse than that. Day. I know it's not. It's not good bacon, but mm -mm. don't worry, you don't have to eat it. You can make it with much better bacon. <laughs> yeah, do some thick sliced stuff. Yes. Okay, and I'm videography today, mm -hmm. stepping into all sorts of roles. <laughs> but I, again, I'm very multi, um, I'm ambidextrous. No, that's for writing both hands. Yes. <laughs> what is in the middle of that onion? It's uh -huh. hard. That yeah, weird. you know what? I think that's, that's the vaccine. All right, he got fired because he can't he can't not be inappropriate when he's behind the camera. All right, I'm gonna just Only cook this bacon up. You, Sarah, our channel is not inappropriate. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh boy! All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm thinking about what he said. I'm gonna cook this bacon in here. I'll get back to you. <laughs> Luca made some no bake cookies in here too, which is great. I've been wanting the kids to have some more peanut butter things. We haven't been using peanut butter much lately. They haven't hardened. So it's just like an oatmeal chocolate peanut butter recipe, but they haven't gotten hard. So we're Nana's gonna, reshaping we're gonna put them in the fridge and <laughs> see what happens. We're trying to <laughs> salvage. They taste amazing. So she it's thinks maybe there's a little too much peanut butter or something. They taste amazing. We're just trying to salvage them for cookies. And they don't cookies. stick. I mean, you can stick them anywhere. They just come yeah. right <laughs> She's going to stick them in the freezer. And actually, I figured out that it was me. I was the problem. Because oh, he used... Cacao. I gave him cacao powder instead of oh, cocoa powder. Yeah, I don't know if that makes a difference. But I thought it was interchangeable, but maybe not. All right, I got a half an onion chopped here. I am cooking that bacon behind me. And I'm going to shred some Parmesan cheese. I also have my spinach here ready to go. Big box of it, we won't use it all. And I got water boiling for two boxes of spaghetti noodles, so about 32 ounces. Okay, a couple more things I got out here. Red pepper flakes and heavy whipping cream. Ooh, it's gonna be good. I'm getting all ready. If you wanna have a really good day, play Worthy of It All by CC Winans on your phone. Bird some of the bacon again. It's supposed to be crispy, so that's okay. But I have to get a different pot because I really messed it up. But I saved my bacon grease now because you guys told me I should be saving my bacon oh, grease. And we cook eggs with it a lot, so I need about a tablespoon left of bacon grease. So I'm just going to get some fresh stuff that I had reserved and finish this meal. <laughs> my noodles are cooking here. And then I'm going to throw in my onion, cook it a few minutes, throw in my garlic that I saved from earlier. 
Okay, I wish we had smell of vision between this huge curry pot, the onions and garlic in the bacon grease, and the smell of a little bit of burnt bacon <laughs> in the background. <laughs> but definitely the smell of bacon. Woo! I mean, we have church tomorrow. I don't know how we're gonna get the smell off of us. <laughs> we're gonna be smelling in the next three days. Okay, next up. Ooh. Oh, now I'm burning this. Look at my mom tells me I'm going trying to go too fast. I'm gonna add a bunch of spinach, like around nine cups. That's about two, four, real, real precise here. Eight, six, eight, maybe, maybe just the whole thing. I get a wilted down here. I'll cook it down and get back to you and show you when I get it cooked down. Of course, if you know spinach well, you know this only will take a couple minutes to cook right on down. I drained out those noodles. They're done. And this is ready for the next step. That was the whole box of spinach. See that? I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream and some red pepper flakes. Now, my mom's eating tonight. If she gets too much spicy, she'll start choking and sneezing. I think we've had this conversation before. <laughs> I'm going to keep it light on that red pepper Sorry, Mom, I'm throwing you under the bus now. <laughs> All right, it's looking so good. I have those two boxes of noodles in this huge bowl on the counter, and I'm gonna add the stuff from the skillet and the bacon and that cheese and stir it all together. This one looks, tastes, smells, most importantly again, tastes wonderful. I'm gonna write the directions in the description box, but if you make it, make sure you're generous with the spinach bacon, cheese, and cream. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little more cheese even, and then we're gonna have this one tonight. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I feel really prepared for the week. My dad made a meal that we're gonna use. I got these three meals. I think he's gonna cook another one even uh, in a couple days, and it just gives me such a peaceful feeling. <laughs> we're starting school this next week, so it's great to have all these things prepped. I just felt my stress level come way down, especially after or all those breakfast and lunch and bread, all those things, but the meals make a huge difference too. Hope you guys are inspired to prep something for your week as you're watching this. We'll talk to you next time, bye. Ooh, and I almost forgot to say before we serve it, we're gonna get some fresh basil from the garden too.